elements of the C-frame. The C-frame is in the shape of a C, but this thumb has to be in line with this bone right here. Because what you're doing is you're putting this kind of weather your hand right here in the elbow pit. You cannot tweak your wrist down because their bicep, okay, where is gonna is because the top person's bicep can go through your thumb. So if he's here, okay, right? If he's got it down like this, okay, and he's he's here, I if his wrist is bent, okay, it's no good for him that way. If he goes here this way, he's not gonna stop my bicep from going through. So you have to be able to rotate your elbow in order to be able to constantly keep this thumb aligned. And you never let your wrist absorb anything, okay? Because this is the weakest part of your structure between shoulder, elbow, wrist, besides your fingers, okay? But we're not sitting here tweaking fingers, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on effectively using the C-frame, okay? So look, okay? Professor Phillips start pushing down my knee. I come up and I put that C-frame in because why? This is the hand that gets you side control because this is the arm that's gonna control my head. No control of the head, no side control. Remember that, very key. He has to climb the side control ladder. He's gotta get past the legs, he's gotta control the hips, he's gotta control the chest, and he's gotta control the head. This is reasonably side control right here because he's controlling my head right here okay it doesn't really matter but he's he's controlling my head his left arm controls my head whether it's cross face or reverse cross face or reverse, yet he's still controlling my head okay so you have so if we rewind it backwards here he goes back back a step 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 we go back and start okay what happens here is this if he's passing to his left my right but I sit up and I get that C frame in there. He's gonna be passing. Look, go ahead, put me in sight. Okay, there's no side control. There's a guard, but there's no side control. Okay, one more time. That's one hand. Better yet, but notice how he was able to lift his hand up. Look, I sit up, I initiate that, go on. He starts coming around. Sorry. And then I grab his palm on the outside, right here. Not his wrist, but his palm right here. And I got it down. And I'm pulling it into my C frame right here. Go ahead, pass. Look. Okay. Go ahead, pass. Look. You got? There's no pass. There's just a lot of effort on his end. And I assure you, if you measured heart rate, mine probably be low. But the point is that I recover guard, I could recover half guard, I could go to open guard, but there's a lot of other stuff I could do here. I'm just showing you guys the fundamentals of that C frame. And then we'll combine. So one more time. What I want you guys to do is learn to rely on it because you need to initiate. I don't want to be here because at some point, my guard's like, okay, it's getting passed. What am I going to do? This? This right here, so it's like a slide right in there. Yeah, nice handy underhook right here. I'm totally dug in to like a like a three four foot deep type of grave with like three four feet of layers on I me. Mean, I gotta dig out. I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I gotta be able to dig out of that. However, if you kind of deconstruct it, there were circumstances that you can prevent, and that C frame is absolutely vital when you begin to believe in it. But it also consists of hip movement and shoulder movement, hip, shoulder. Okay, I'm not just going hip and I'm here and he's trying to hug my head and I'm like, no. Yeah, eventually he'll win. He's got gravity. Yes. Maybe. Okay. But he won't be flat. What good would that be me? Hip movement is what saves me so I can be on my side. Okay. So he's putting his hand up here. I come up on my elbow here. Look, I get two on one right here. But I'm using my feet to scoop my hips out. Go ahead, keep passing. Look. Good hip. Go ahead, keep passing. Okay. Look, he gets around my knee. Oh, he's all over. 
Okay? And I'm constantly breathing forward. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, sure. So what I want you guys to work on is now just a C frame. Okay? So I start pushing, he sits up, frames that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply pressure, not ballistic explosive pressure, but I'm gonna let him be able to move his hip back, shoulders back, hip back as I try this, as I try to pass, hip back, shoulders back. Please. I need you guys to believe that this actually works because it does work. Okay? One more time. Look. Here, he got his grips. I have good posture here. Hip control here. You're like, okay, inevitably his guard is going to open here, sits up, he initiates. There you go. Okay. So from here, he's sitting up, he's playing a sit up type of guard. I want to keep trying to hug his head. He keeps scooting back. I want to see if I could get around. Look, he goes two on one. He keeps pushing this hand down. Down, I'm like, yes, you know why? Because from here, if he takes this bottom hand, pushes it out, he's gonna underhook. Because that sets up an underhook. And that's huge. Okay, you see? And then you guys can play with it. Look. Back and forth. So we're here. He's posturing here. Okay, from here. Oh, I feel, oh, inevitably it's gonna open. I sit up here. He passes. I go here. Okay, he's passing. I see passing, passing. Look, from here, I go. And I come up. And he's on it. Because I redirected his hand from down to up. He went out, I went out the back. Okay? Two on one. This hand, come on. C frame. I'm pulling this right here. Right in the crook of his elbow, and I'm controlling his palm right here. Okay? I don't want to do the wrist because he can untwist it. Okay? See how easily that. I want to control here. Okay? He's moving it around, and I keep pushing it down. Down, down and pushing my wrist, I mean my, my left hand C, into his elbow pit while pulling, pulling like a spider gun. Okay, let's try it. One, two, three. Just the C frame. Work with each other. 20 to 25%. 